as we read through Acts chapter 13 and Acts chapter 14, I think it's very important to have a visual of what you're reading. It talks a lot about different places, different cities, and you know, most people don't know where these cities are at all. So it's very important to actually put a visual to it to see exactly where they are on the map. That way it helps you grasp exactly what's going on in the story. So down here is Israel, Lebanon. Okay, here's the Mediterranean Sea over here. And so this is Paul's first missionary journey. They figure this happened between 46 AD and 48 AD. And this is where they started. It's documented in Acts chapter 13, verses 3 and 4. The Antiochian church sponsors Paul and Barnabas' mission to Cyprus and Asia Minor. So they sail from this area over to Salamis, Cyprus. They go from Salamis over to Paphos. And this is where it is documented that Christianity is introduced into the upper echelons of Roman society in Acts chapter 13, verses 6 through 12. They go from Paphos and they sail over to Persia. And they go from Persia through Pamphylia into Antioch and Pisidia. Paul receives both favorable and unfavorable responses to his preaching. Acts chapter 13, verses 42 to 45. And they go from Antioch and Pisidia over to Iconium. This is where Paul and Barnabas' preaching provokes division among the people, and they are forced to flee. Acts chapter 14, verses 4 to 6. They go from Iconium down to Lystra. Paul heals a lame man, and the missionaries are believed to be pagan gods. And that is in Acts chapter 14, verses 8 to 12. So they go from Lystra over to Derbe. They preach the gospel and make many disciples in Derby. This is recorded in Acts chapter 14, the first half of verse 21. And then they backtrack and they basically go the same way they came. They go from Derby back to Lystra, up north to Iconium, west of Iconium to Antioch and Pisidia. They go through Pisidia and they go to Atalia and then from there they sail back over to Antioch in Syria. So yes, I believe it is important to put a visual behind what we are reading in Acts chapter 13 and Acts chapter 14.